Hey road trippers, we're here at Clayton Lake State Park and I'm going to take you to the dinosaur tracks. Let's go. And this is Jason with Road Trip with Takis, also known as RWT Adventures. Before we get to the dinosaur tracks, this is the campground. We're going to look around. The campsites have fire pits and grills, as well as a shade area. You can see the lake from ours. It's a pretty awesome view. We spend a lot of time at night setting out, just enjoying the stars from here. They also have water and electric. Let's open this up and you can see that they have 30 and 20 amp here. I'm gonna make a quick drive around the campsite. Keep in mind, this park is in a part of New Mexico that is pretty dark. So you'll definitely see lots of stars under this Portal 2 sky. This gives you an idea of how well spaced all of the campsites are. And that's a group pavilion off in the distance. All right, we've parked a truck and we're getting ready to walk to the dinosaur tracks. That's what one of the other campsites looks like. Don't forget to make reservations. It was close to filling up when we made our summer reservations. And it's pretty long for most rigs. Just a short walk from the campsite are the dinosaur tracks. The first part is basically a paved road. You can drive to the parking lot at the end, but it's a very short walk, so we decided to just walk it the whole way. I have no idea why Grayson's smiling right now. There is a small day use fee involved per vehicle, but they do have restrooms and a parking lot for at least 10 cars or so. Keep in mind, this is bear country too. All right, we're about ready to see these 100 million year old dinosaur tracks. It's just a short quarter of a mile walk, and it's a great park if you do like fishing. They are well known for their trophy bass. Trails well paved and maintained, and the views are really nice along the way. Since there's not a lot of shade out here, keep in mind what part of the day you head out here, especially in the summer. It can get pretty hot, but there are a few shaded spots along the trail, and Allison brought her hat to keep the sun off her face. There's a nice little bench along the way if you need a rest. It has a nice view of the spillway on the other side. Super easy walk. Gravel's nice and solid. Pretty cool looking back at the lake and then looking over the side. Very nice area. There's a campground out there. So the path opens up at the top of the dam. It's nice and wide. And you can see another side of the lake from here. We're finally at the metal structure. Take some time to read the history of these tracks and how they came to be discovered. It's pretty interesting. You can learn quite a bit of facts about the Cretaceous period just inside this little building. Keep in mind if you just stay in here, this is your view. You might want to head out and take a closer look. We're going down the stairs now. There's another picnic bench in case you need to stop. And of course, stay on the walkway. And please don't be a litter bug. There's a trash can. The track does make a loop, so you can just walk one way if you want. But I'm gonna be quiet right now, and you can just enjoy this walk for the next minute. some stairs on the side that lead down to the lake if you want to get a little bit closer from this side that's an option I always love to explore so I just had to go check it out look at those views that's very nice I'd say this New Mexico State Park is a must-see for anyone that enjoys dinosaurs and stars all right road trippers I hope you enjoyed our look at Clayton Lake State Park's dinosaur tracks see you in the next video bye